Martin is with us here this morning, and it's so nice because I know you're on your way to Bullies. Appreciate you All taking right. the time yeah, no problem. Uh, to join us. And uh, this year, it's sneaking up on us, so we want to make sure everybody gets a word out about we it. We have a little over three weeks. Three weeks. It's March 26th, the uh, Fred Webster Snow Softball. Yeah. This will be its 35th year. 35th That's, year. Yep. So it's been That's a lot of money that they've raised. Yeah, we years. raise between thirty to forty thousand dollars a year on uh, the Tuesday that we play the games. I mean, it's a, like a two-month-long fundraising event, but the day event is the fun part of it. Yeah, of course, the Special Olympics used to come up here and compete, but now they've taken over Lost Valley and they mm -hmm. really have a great time there, and it's a good facility for it. Yep, I miss them up here. I miss the big community dinner yeah. they used to do for them, but they already found a new home and they're liking it there, so yeah. it's happy for yeah. them. And we support them nonetheless. Yep. So, how many teams are there? Do you know? There are eight teams. And uh, historically, who have been some of the more winning teams? The bag has won a lot. Tefulio's, which is now Casey's Creativity Center, has won a lot. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing for Widow Winkles, which is the Bullwinkles Widowmaker combo team. <laughs> and then we have the Amvets, Sarges and Rangeley, uh, the Special O's team, and the um, Eustis team. I forget what their name is. The Snowballers, I think, is their name. Is Snowballers, that, that seems, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Willy, what? Widow Winkles. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The combination Bullwinkles, yep. uh, Widowmaker. So uh, is there a website or a Facebook page? Yes, there is. Uh, there is the Fred Webster. Uh, I don't see anything on there, but if you go online and look up Fred Webster Snowball Tournament, yep. they'll find it. Yep. But in various restaurants around the town, yep. there are posters similar to this, and you can scan the QR code, yep. and that will bring you up to the generic page, yep. and then you can go in and support an individual member or a team member, uh, depending on how you want to do it. So right. various restaurants around town have that poster, and you can just scan that QR code, and it'll bring you to the page. It, then it, you can scroll through it, find who you want to sponsor, uh, click on it. It's pretty easy to do. And for people that are playing and haven't set it up yet, it's very easy to set up. All right. Yep. That's a shout out to some of them. Yep. And, and the QR code, there won't be any spamming. They nope. <laughs> uh, it is uh, Frontstream is the company that's doing the uh, online stuff for us. It used to be First Giving. Mm -hmm. They're a very good page. They only take a very minimal amount of money, unlike some other online fundraising sites. Right. Uh, but yeah, just around town, we have these posters. A lot of the restaurants have them. We have one at Bullwinkles. I know the bag has one. I think Widowmaker has one. Uh, the Rack has one. Uh, they're around town. Yep. Yeah. Now tell us about the day. It's a because it's a it's a celebration. It's a party. The winners are the kids. Yeah. I mean, but everyone is very competitive. Right. It's the last Tuesday of March. No matter what the field or weather conditions are. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right. I've played with two feet of powder. I've played on dry ground. Yeah. I've played with frozen mud. It's. Part of the fun of it is the last Tuesday in March, no matter what the weather field conditions are in. And, of and course, the, uh, there's other people involved where they have parties as well. Yep. The Stratton Plaza is our home base. They open up at 7 in the morning, so we start having some fun <laughs> early. Uh, but they traditionally donate all of the tips that the bartenders make to softball as well. Nice. Robin Cottle, who's playing music around, Great. she's been for the past month and until softball donating all of her tips to the Special Olympics as well. Great. Well, there might be some people out and about, too, that may solicit you uh, to, uh, to join. And uh, we encourage people to go and check it out because it's, it's a fun to watch people talking smack yep. and uh, smacking balls and uh, running in the snow. And uh, it's a very aggressive game. We haven't sent anybody to the hospital lately. No, no, no. No one was harmed. No animals were harmed. Yep. Uh, and, uh, no softballs were harmed. Yeah. And as you can see, the spirit is good. Yep. I didn't realize we had some footage going over here. That's I nice. I think I took that a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah. With some of the teams. Yep. Yeah. We moved up to Stratton five, five, six years ago. Yeah. We used to be down in the valley, but we moved to Stratton. I think it was like five or six years ago. Yeah. Which works for me because I live there, so I don't have to drive anywhere. <laughs> you have the home advantage. Mm -hmm. the home. Well, that is awesome. Now, before you leave, I want to mention uh, uh, trivia. Yeah. Now, talk, let's talk about your trivia night. Okay. Mondays at the shipyard, uh, 5 o'clock. It's the burger, beer, and brains. 
do various burgers and a beer for $18. I'm your trivia host. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy. You never know what I'm going to dig out for you. You never know, that's yep. correct. Uh, I know you got to uh, go to work. Yeah. Thanks for being yeah, here this thank morning. You, we appreciate it. Yep, no worries. Pleasure. And again, if you see one of these posters around town, please click the QR code and donate to uh, the good cause. Yeah, it is a great yep. cause. Thanks. We appreciate it. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Yep.